Hi guys, today I received my package with some yarn. Let's unpack it together. This is Angora yarn, glitter yarn Lana Gata, 25 grams and about uh, 300 meters in a ball. This is also Angora yarn, just in different color. Another color also in Angora. It's another Angora yarn, just in white color. It's Angora 40, so it means that here it's 40% uh, Angora. This is 100% uh, Italian wool, Merino wool. And those, it's also um, Iran. 100% merino wool, the same uh, as was this one, really thin. Another merino, merino from Lana Gato, even softer than the other one, than this one. This is just another Iran and another merino, just in different color. Let's take a closer look at some yarn. This is Angora yarn, 80% Angora and 20% uh, nylon, 25 grams and 125 meters in this 25 grams. It's really, really soft yarn. I'm planning to combine those two colors and to add a little glitter for the hat and for the scarf. Also, I think that I'm going to have uh, some yarn left uh, for mittens. So you see how rich and beautiful this color is. And the combination of these colors, I think it should be good. Talking about the price for this yarn. So one ball of the yarn, 25 grams, uh, costs 5.5 uh, Canadian dollars, including taxes. So I think that the price is also really good, considering that it's all natural materials almost all like 80 percent angora it's really good next yarn that i'd like to show you a little bit closer is my favorite merino wool it's called iran and it's 100 percent merino wool i really like this yarn because it's uh, 100 grams in a ball and uh, it's really thin so you can uh, take a couple of yarns and need uh, different types of clothing hats scarves uh, and uh, you can adjust uh, the thickness that you want to have uh, in your uh, in your work so for example here we have 1400 meters in this 100 gram the price for one ball in 100 grams it's uh, 5.5 canadian dollars including taxes so the price for the yarn is also really really good quality is amazing because it's 100 percent merino wool i'm planning to combine this yarn with angora i have them also in two colors the one color is for one angora yarn and another one it's perfectly combines with another shade of angora but maybe i'm gonna leave uh, those yarns those balls even for some other thing for example maybe that's gonna be a sweater really light but warm sweater this is another stash of uh, angora yarn in beautiful tiffany color and the white color snow white color i'm planning to make a hat just with those two colors let's see how it's gonna go also i'm gonna remind that it's 80 percent angora 20 percent nylon so it's really soft really warm the price is also 550 canadian dollars including taxes for one ball and for the Tiffany color, it's uh, 25 grams, 125 meters. And for this color, for Snow White, it's uh, 200 meters and 25 grams. This is another kind of Angora that I have. I bought just two balls because it wasn't a, a really good selection of the colors left because of the price. 
it's 50 grams and uh, 187 meters in this 50 grams and it's 40 percent angora and 60 percent acrylic i was really curious just to see what the quality of the yarn uh, when i'm touching i like how it feels i bought those two colors for a hat i think it should be enough for one hat it's it should be even more than enough for one hat and for the price just four dollars for canadian dollars including taxes for one ball i think it's really good deal it's worth to try it and this is stash of my merino it's all 100 percent merino wool this one is lana gutter super soft it's really soft wool and it's 50 grams and 125 meters in this 50 grams beautiful beige colors pastel colors really soft to touch it's extremely soft yarn here i have three balls for the hat so that's going to be one hat here i have uh, enough for a hat and a scarf but when i was unpacking my husband was looking at this yarn and he was asking if i'm gonna make for him uh, um, a hat with this yarn i want to say that he's sometimes picky with uh, the yarn because he doesn't like when it's uh, not soft so i'm gonna reconsider what i'm gonna make with this yarn this is another merino wool it's also 100 percent merino uh, the same uh, 50 grams and 125 meters but it's just different brand of merino so if you compare in those two they're really similar however this one gonna be a little softer this one is soft as well but this one's gonna be just a little softer some time ago i made a sweater with this uh, type of yarn with this brand for my husband so as i told you before he is picky with the yarn but that's sweater he likes and it's really soft also the quality of the yarn is really good so it's not gonna be peeling when you need it's not gonna be going you know just with different yarn it's gonna be comfortable to knit and recommended needles um, i think it's three and 3.5 but let's take a look just to make sure yeah it's even three four so but i would still use three or 3.5 for this yarn as well i believe it's uh, three or 3.5 or even four recommended oh even five recommended five i'm just gonna make a little swatch and then i'm gonna decide what size of the needles i'm gonna use for my project for the price one ball of this yarn it's 550 canadian dollars including taxes so one hat that's for you gonna be like 16 17 dollars for one hat with 100 percent merino wool in my opinion that's really good price and it's worth to buy it even though you have to pay uh, for the shipping for the shipping i paid 40 dollars i believe and i waited about 20 days maybe a little more than 20 days for it to arrive to my door now you see all the yarn from my recent order i have here 40 balls of yarn and it's uh, angora and merino all yarn is italian quality is good i'm gonna tell you a little later how i like this yarn in my project i'm gonna try to make as much videos as i can to show you what projects i was making with this yarn so stay tuned for new videos it's gonna be a lot of hats i'm gonna try to make simple hats and simple tutorials as well as something interesting i'm not sure exactly what yet i have some ideas but let's see them in my videos also i would like to tell you what i paid for this yarn so for these 40 balls of yarn and it's all natural yarn only exception gonna be for the glitter one right here i paid 210 canadian dollars including taxes additionally I'm, i paid 40 dollars canadian dollars including taxes for the shipping so overall uh, for all these 40 balls of yarn i paid 250 dollars canadian dollars i think that for the number of balls uh, of yarn i received it's not a really bad deal to pay for 40 balls of yarn all natural yarn only exception this one as i mentioned before i paid only 250 dollars including shipping and i waited for this shipping about 20 days so it was a little more than 20 days but i don't think that it's too bad considering that this shipment was coming from other country 
I'm really excited to try something new, knitting with those balls. Especially, I'm looking forward to knitting with uh, merino wool. And uh, also, I want to try angora wool for the hat. To see more about my daily projects, follow my uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I'm trying to post there on a daily basis uh, about the project that I'm making, some pictures and some short videos. Let me know what do you think about the deals that I got in this order. If you have a better deals, if you buy somewhere else where you can get a better deal, please let me know. I would really appreciate it. Good luck with your projects and I'm gonna see you in the next video.